Okay, Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Get ready to stop, man. And uh, Shalom to the elect. So I'm going to play a little bit of this video. Then I'm going to give a commentary, quick commentary through the Spirit. The Most High set up the men of the Most, the, the, his men, to get to get the get you to get your act together. But if you ain't gonna get your act together, the Most High gonna bring his men back, which are us, and then he's gonna bring death. And death is an actual spirit, man. And when see death, he's gonna have his last hurrah. So when the Most High allows death to do his thing. He's gonna do his finest work, man. He's gonna Yeah, man. And um, you know, as I was watching the apostles, I was just thinking of because this is a this was in as you see, this was in a breaking strongholds, which they haven't done that in like maybe like four years, I'll say. Four or five years. So I was thinking what led them, you know, which really is all through the spirit of power, how about Shimmy How Shai. But what led them to speak about these things, man? These, see, what people fail to realize that these are not just regular average men. You know, these are men of the Lord. They're speaking through the Spirit, and we see it happening right now to this very day. Death is coming. Okay, and death is going to come, like it says in uh, Second Ezra the 15th chapter. All right, it says pestilences. All right, and th there's different forms of pestilences, which another word for pestilence is a plague. All right, which ultimately bring death. All right, some gonna die by the sword, which is by the gun, by martial law, by famine, which is a, a crazy way to die. All right, by actual pestilences, by um, you know, diseases. All right, and there's not gonna be no one to help you. All right, your baby's gonna die right in front of you. All right, but it's not. They're not just gonna die of natural causes. They're gonna die slowly. You know, right in front of your arms and you're not going to have anything to do. You can't do anything about it. That's what's coming to this place. Babylon the Greek. You know, because the scriptures say, yeah, how about Shimei Shai said that he's angry with the wicked every day. And it's more wickedness coming upon this place, which means something has to happen that balance out, balances out the scale. Okay. I was just watching a priest Shaman's uh, video yesterday. He said, what? Somebody's got to pay for slavery. We damn sure pay, all right, and somebody's gonna have to pay for it, man. Okay, get that precept actually. Somebody's gonna have to pay, man. All right, and um, you know, as I find it, as I you know search for it, the scriptures also speak about which they have read, I believe. When King David went off, man, and the Lord was like, "How you gonna uh, make it up to me? All right, well you have to flee from your enemies. You're gonna have to suffer from uh, famine. You know, King David, a man of the Lord, had to pay. So, how much more the two uh, two thirds and the heathen, man? Esau, Edom. How much more of them? Somebody's gotta pay. You know, for the evil that's done upon this earth." Somebody's got to pay for homosexuality. Somebody's got to pay for, um, you know, chemtrails and putting chemtrails in the air. Somebody's got to pay for taxing and uh, putting hell upon uh, you so-called Black Hispanics and, and Native Americans. Somebody's got to pay, man. And the Most High is angry, man. So his wrath is going to go out. So there'd be no remedy, man. All right. This is Psalm 75. I think it's 75. It's 75 and 8. I'm going to start at 7. It says, But God is a judge. He put it down one and set up up another. For in the hand of the Lord is a cup, and the wine is red. Okay? Because guess what? The Lord is going to come and shed a lot of blood. Okay? Because a lot of blood was shed. And the scriptures say, a land cannot be cleansed but by the blood of him that cleansed it, man. All right? So, for in the hand of the Lord is a cup, 
and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out the same. Okay? So basically, whatever's uh, blood that's been shed, the Most High is going to pour out that same blood. Okay? And it's been a lot of blood that's been shed, man. Alright, since ever since Esau came over here and to this very day to where Jake again shot uh shot uh uh um like wild dogs you know on the streets man these so called black Hispanics and Native Americans you know because what they don't tell you is there's articles about that and, and it's how you know the amount of you so called natives and Hispanics is also getting shot down in the streets alright and the wine is red it is full of mixture and he poureth out the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. So guess what? You're going to have to pour, hey, the Lord is going to make you, you know, the Lord is going to make you pay. All the wickedness that, you know, people do, they're going to have to pay for it. the adultery. All right, scoffers, like the scriptures say that the Lord is going to destroy them that are incensed against thee. The Lord is pissed, man. All right. The Lord is pissed. Okay. So I'm going to play some more. He's going to kill you niggas left and right. He's going to get busy. He ain't going to take no coffee breaks. You know, he ain't going to pity you when death does his thing because he already knows. He's sitting there waiting for the most High to go ahead, death, do your thing. This is your last hurrah. And he's going to do his finest work. And he's going to let you niggas have it, man. He's going to let you Latin tribes have it. He's going to let all you tribes have it. He's going to fuck you up. He's going to... Hey, was that 2nd uh, Ezra 16? Which the scriptures say how the Lord is going to uh, destroy Egypt with the plagues as before, roughly paraphrasing. You know what happened in ancient Egypt, man. You can read Wisdom of Solomon, I believe the 17th chapter. That gives you a, a clear Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 18, when brothers get a chance. That gives you a more precise understanding to what happened during the night um, of the Passover, man. With the same spirit, we're passing over out of Egypt now. And the Lord brought death upon the firstborn of the Egyptians. So it's the same thing that's going to happen now. You, uh, you, Those that call themselves African Americans. Those that call themselves Hispanic Americans. Latino Americans. Native Americans. The Most High is going to destroy you, man. Alright? Without remedy. Because you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai on you, man. Alright? So death is going to recognize you. But us of the whole full elect, the Lord is going to pass over us. Lord's will. He gonna, he's going to make you believe. <laughs> he's going to do his thing, man. The Most High is going to tell him, look, death, this is your last, this is the last time. <laughs> this is the last time. This is the last arrive. After this, hey, I'm going to give you an extra amount of time. I'm going to give you from this day to that day. Let's see what you can do. Because once you do this, you ain't going to do it no more. I'm going to put you somewhere. We ain't going to need you no more, man. So when, when, the, when, when, when the most side goes to death and tell him, look, do your thing. You know what? Hold, hold the mic to my mouth, man. Death is going to be like this. He's going to be licking his chops, man. And he's going to go full speed on you niggas, man. He's going to get all you niggas. And that black Babylonianism, what you call a black consciousness, watch what he gonna do to polite. Watch what he gonna do to Sarnetta. Watch what he gonna do to all you niggas that believe in Kemet, man. All you niggas in Islam, Farrakhan, all the fruits of Islam, all right? The Moors, you Jehovah Witnesses, you Seven Day Adventists, you Baptists, you Methodists, you Roman Catholics, you Epis uh, um, Epis Episcopals. I'm talking about that church down there. That was a little inkling of what death is going to do, man. And here you talking about you forgive death? He going to do his thing. Go ahead, I. This is the book of uh, 2 Samuel 24 and 14. 
And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let us fall now into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great, and let me not fall into the hand of the man, of man. So the Lord sent a pestilence upon Israel from the morning even to the time appointed, and there died of the people from Dan even to Beersheba seven thousand men. And when the angel and when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him of the evil that of the evil and. Man, that's uh, what was it, Sirach 39 and 28? They be spirits created for vengeance, which in their sore strokes. Uh, let me just grab it, Salak. Yeah, thought I could quote it, but um, I wanted to get all I want to get all the meat off that bone, man. So, this is uh, what we got here, Sirach 39 goes well, and I believe this is it, 39. Twenty-eight. There, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. So there's certain spirits that just that are created to just, um, to just uh, you know, just for the Lord uh, to blow off some steam, if you will, man. All right. So it says, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. That was a sore stroke that the Lord brought, brought upon Israel. All right, for the um, the sins that David committed, which was um, to number the people, and that's another thing Esau got to pay for the census. You know, a man of the Lord, the man after the Lord's heart, as it says in what I believe Acts 13 chapter, how David was a man after the Lord's heart. He had to pay. So how much more those who the Lord hates, man? They be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him. Fire and hell, famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. And we see these things happening on a wide scale. Why? Because the Lord is angry and he's on his way to bring vengeance, man. Okay? It says teeth of wild beasts and scorpions serpents and the swords punishing the wicked to destruction and another thing you have which i just watched from the elder uh malcolm of how you have these mountain lions which are otherwise solitary creatures getting together in packs and fucking people up man so vengeance is coming man death is coming okay And said to the angel that destroyed the people, It is enough. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord was was by the threshing place of Arwana and Je the Jebusite. And that was, I got news for you. That wasn't even death. That was just an angel. See, angels can be appointed to kill people. But that wasn't death. Okay? When death does his thing, you're going to know about it, man. You gonna know that there is an actual spirit. It's an actual. There was an actual spirit that put you to sleep. The reason why them guys in the black Babylonianism are the way they are, because there's an actual spirit that put them to sleep, man. The reason why you guys, you got guys out there calling themselves Moors and that they came, they descended from the Moabites and the Canaanites. That's that same spirit. He see. That spirit is creative, man. He gonna take a certain amount of you Israelites, he gonna make you think that you're Moors. He, he gonna take another group and make you think that. 